Hello beautiful friends and welcome to another beautiful day here at Sophia Kamau's Kitchen. Today I have another simple, basic and delicious recipe to show you up. I have all the ingredients here and let's go through them. I am going to show you how to make omena anchovies or daga. I have four cups, four measuring cups, or it's 200 grams of omena. And then I will use a half cup of cooking oil. I have a teaspoon of thyme. This is just to help um, eliminate that strong flavor of the omena. I have a cube or I'll say uh, two tablespoons of tomato paste. I'll have two medium tomatoes and I have onion, three cloves of garlic also to help eliminate that strong flavor. So for the paste, you have a choice you can add or you don't have to add. For the ingredients, I forgot to mention salt. It's also very, very important. It brings out flavor for your food. So over my stove here, I do have water. It's hot enough. I don't need it to boil. And these omena are already sorted out. If you're not careful, there will be some shells or tadpoles. So I have gone through them to make sure there was none. And now I will put them in my hot water. So you do, really don't need to boil the water, just enough, uh, hot enough to uh, remove the very, uh, the bitter flavor for the omena. So I will turn off this stove and just let it sit there for like one minute and then I have to drain it and cool it in cold water. So I will have the half cup of oil and I will let it heat up a little bit before I bring my omena. I will put it in my colander and just drain and just drain all that and then run it under cold water to stop the cooking process. We are back to the stove and now I need to fry this omenas. I try to drain as much water as needed so that it's not uh, splattering all over. And then I will just pick my omena, this way is safer, and throw on the stove. I know it looks dangerous, but hey, if you are, you are used to cooking, it's okay for you. But if you're scared, maybe you don't need to put the oil fast to be hot. You just put them at the same time with the oil, then they will be catching um, the heat or cooking slowly. So I have all my anchovy here and my heat should be high. And now I will fry them with the oil. Omena continues to fry. Some people put a lot of oil, but for me, I really don't like a lot of oil. And they are frying very well and i'm liking it and it smells really good so this is i think i have been frying it for like three uh four minutes now and it's ready for me and i will just go ahead add some salt a teaspoon of salt is good enough and then i will add the other ingredients I have thyme, I have the onion, I have the garlic, so I continue cooking them. I didn't let them cook for long because I will continue cooking them with this, with the onions and garlic and the thyme. So I'll continue another three, four minutes until the onions are soft and they are cooked a little bit. Then I will add the tomato and the paste. 
after another two minutes my onions have softened up the aromas have really changed and now it's time for me to add the tomatoes before they start burning uh, at the bottom so that's my tomato paste and this my frozen tomatoes which I blended I'll let them go to the bottom and then cover with this. Cover them now and let uh, cook for another three minutes for the tomatoes to be done and our food will be ready. After three minutes here, I have to check my tomatoes and here they are cooked. I just have to mix it and let it cook a little further another two three minutes so here some people like the omena with the stew some don't for me i like it mine like that now my omenas are done and they smell so good the aromas of everything are just making it ooh, so delicious so it's done you can test for the salt now and see if the salt is enough if not uh, enough you can add if it's enough you're good to go and now I'll turn off my stove and it's time to go and serve the omena welcome back and my omena is done it is finger licking good believe me this is so so delicious you have seen how I have made it so basic. We can add up to this. You can use any other spices you want to use into this. Give me ideas on how you ate your omenas. Mine, the way I know, it's either with rice or with ugali. I am open for more ideas. And please remember to like, subscribe, and share. Until we see you again with another delicious recipe. Bye!